What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today we're releasing LaunchBox 12.15 and just like all of our new releases, we've got some fixes, improvements, and some awesome new features. And in this video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough on all of the new additions to LaunchBox 12.15. So if you're ready to get started, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alright, so first things first, we've got a new feature that shows us our platform details inside of LaunchBox. So right now I'm just on my N64 section here, and I don't have game details on right now, but if I head up to View, Show and Hide, Game Details, you can see that we've got information on the platform now when we don't have a game selected. So if I was to go ahead and select a game, it'll give us the game details over here, but if I just leave it blank, We'll go to Game Boy. And now if I don't select a game, it's going to give us those platform details. So this is actually really cool because it gives us a lot of information on that platform like the CPU, memory, display resolution, total games, max controllers, and so on and so on. And I do want to mention that yes, these platform details are also available for custom LaunchBox themes. And some of these custom themes will have a few extras. This is a brand new theme called Airy from CC Beats over on the forum. Really love the look of this one. If you take a look up here, play last, and as you can see, comes up with a nice little screenshot there. We've also got a random, and if you haven't gone into a platform yet, it will just come up as play random. I wanted to show you one more here. This is the big details theme from Farron. If we head to Super Nintendo, you can see it comes right up. We've got our random game, our most played, and our last played. So if you want to play any of these, you'll just click right on it. But yeah, if you haven't tried any of these custom LaunchBox themes, I would highly recommend it. Uh, this one's big details. The other one we took a look at was known as Airy. So yeah, this is really cool, and I can't wait to see what other theme developers come up with. Okay, so moving over to another new feature with 12.15. With this update, we can now install and uninstall our Epic, GOG, Steam, and Uplay games directly from within LaunchBox. For the longest time, we've always had the ability to import our Windows games here. We've got Epic, GOG, Steam, Uplay right here. And when it comes down to it, we've really only been able to import them, get some artwork, and launch them from here. But now, with 12.15, we can uninstall and install games. So, for instance, if I go down here, Shredder's Revenge. I don't have this installed. I'm going to right-click, choose Install, and now Steam is installing that game. Once it's done, I can go ahead and play it directly from within LaunchBox. So, just right-click, play. It's going to start that game right up and I can hop right into some gameplay here. And yeah, this is really cool. Like I mentioned, in the past, all we could really do was import our games and start them up. We could download metadata and artwork, but now we can install and uninstall directly from the LaunchBox front end. And while we're here in my Windows section, I figured I'd go ahead and show you a new improvement we've added. With the on-the-fly filters, we can now sort by storefront. So if I just want to see my Steam games, it's going to bring those up. I can go with GOG, remove Steam, you can mix and match, it's really up to you. And remember, you can always clear these out, so it'll show everything available in this platform. Moving over to our last new feature with 12.15, platforms can now be removed from the platform category section. And keep in mind, when you remove them from the platform category, it's not completely removing these from LaunchBox, just the category section. So if you go back to platforms, we'll still have that console or system listed there. This has been a highly requested feature over the years, and with these platform categories, uh, we provide you with the building blocks allowing users to build, categorize, and organize their games any way they'd like. So if I head over here to platform category, let's say consoles, this is gonna have all of my consoles listed in this section. But if I wanted to remove one of these, let's say N64, we can just right click. We're going to go to edit. At the very end here, we've got parents. And we do not want it to show in the console category anymore. So we'll choose OK. Back to consoles. Now all of my N64 games are hidden from this category. So yeah, this is great if you just want to kind of customize how you're going to see all of your games in a certain category. Now, along with all of these great new features, we've also got some improvements that I just wanted to quickly go over. New controller support for up to 32 buttons. So if you've got one of those crazy 32 button controllers or maybe even kind of a flight stick, we now have support for up to 32 buttons. 
And we've also added 100 new Platform Clear logos, and this is thanks to Dan Patrick. These new Clear logos were kind of curated by the LaunchBox team, but uh, I do want to mention that Dan Patrick does some really amazing work. But if you're interested in downloading the full pack that they offer, I will leave a link in the description, and I would highly recommend it. Over 500 hours and 15 months went into this, redrawing all of these. And to tell you the truth, there's actually some logos in here I really didn't even know existed. And just to give you an example here, I was going to go through a few of these. Absolutely amazing work, and yeah, I would highly recommend downloading this from Dan Patrick. Tons of hours went into this, and these are really, really awesome. So yeah, we hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 12.15. Lots of fixes, improvements, and some great new features. Make sure you keep an eye on the forum and our YouTube channel because we always have new stuff coming for LaunchBox and Big Box. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.